make friends that are not flippant all right make friends that will not go about telling your business to other people make friends that you can lean on that you can Hello trust everyone. welcome to my channel hands 237 thank you for clicking on this video guys today i'm just here to to share with you guys about five lessons that i was able to learn due to the death of chadwick bosman for those of you who don't know chadwick bosman he is or he was a black american actor he is popular for um the black panther movie yes he was a hero of that movie and due to that movie a lot of people know him and so he passed over the weekend at the age of 43 due to colon cancer this guy has been suffering from cancer for the past four years okay from 2016 till his death, he was suffering from um, cancer. Okay, and this guy acted about seven movies within the space of um, within the space of four years with his illness, and nobody, I mean, people didn't know about it. So, uh, I think his last video he did um, on Instagram, he was so pale that people started insulting him. People said, "What? Why is he that pale?" Others said maybe he's preparing for a movie or a role in a movie and so that was his last appearance since he died i've been watching some of his videos trying to wrap my head around him being sick and acting just kind of movies and i was able to learn a lot watching his videos and i said why not share with you guys some of these things i was watching some journalists talking about him paying tribute to him and they said before you act any action movie you must undergo some medical test and behold he this guy went through this medical test and passed all of the medical tests and so for him to act this movie it was just destiny all right enough has been said before i continue guys if you hear any background noise i'm so so sorry i am living in an area where people are building houses every day everywhere so it's really difficult filming but i just have to film so before i continue if this is your first time here you may want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so anytime i release a new video on this channel you will be the first to get notified for my returning subscribers thank you for your love and support i do love and appreciate you guys so so much all right so let's just get into it five lessons that i have been able to learn due to the death of chadwick bosman I just want to say may his soul rest in peace he's such an amazing actor people love him people will continue to love him they will continue to watch his work he was a fine piece of art i pray that may god accept him had felt condolence to his family okay so the very first lesson that i'll be looking down or looking somewhere because i, I wrote down this point all right so the very first lesson is that do not allow obstacles to stop you from living your dreams from for, from living your purpose on this earth okay this guy had colon cancer from 2016 like i early, earlier mentioned till the time he passed away which means he acted most of his movies with this illness so he knew that he was sick he knew that he would probably die anytime soon or soonest but his illness didn't stop him from living his dream. His illness didn't stop him from acting those movies, from gi from giving his best to the world. He was equally a humanitarian, okay? He fought for the black community in America. Everything that he did, his illness didn't stop him. He did not allow his illness to stop him, okay? It's one thing for you to be sick. It's another thing for you to allow that sickness to consume you, you know? to overpower you so he did not allow that so my lesson is that no matter what you go through no matter the challenges that you're facing be it illness be it physical challenges be it um poverty financial challenges or whatever that you're going through health challenges do not allow it to stop you from pursuing your dreams if god who created you hasn't stopped you do not stop yourself okay so that's the first lesson. All right. So let's move on to the second lesson that I have been able to learn from this whole, this whole um, sad moment, okay, from his death. The next point is do not judge anyone from their physical appearance. Why, why do I say this? It's because, like I said, um, his, his last video was done sometime in April where he was celebrating an 
an, another icon and people came to his Instagram and they were bashing him. They were saying he's too pale. He's not looking good and all that stuff. He even had to delete this video on his um, Instagram. He did. People had the video already and it's still circulating. And so people didn't know what he was going through. He did not say it. And so what I'm saying is do not judge a book by its cover. Do not judge people from their appearances. Go closer to them. Try to find out why they... They act the way they act, why they look the way they look. Just don't judge people that easily, okay? Or do not judge people based on other people's um, judgment, all right? So that's just another thing that I was able to learn from this. And um, I just said, let me share with you guys. Let me know your thoughts about everything that I'm saying in the comment section, all right? The next um, lesson is that choose your circle this is the best for me choose your circle right all right i saw this somewhere choose your circle right have a tight circle nobody so, so choose your circle right have a, a tight circle nobody i mean nobody in chadwick's circle leaked his personal business his illness nobody told the world that he was sick nobody told the um, paparazzi the press the media nobody told i mean someone that he was sick this guy was able to keep this sickness a secret for four good years until his death so i just want to say if you are making friends make friends that are not flippant all right make friends that will not go about telling your business to other people make friends that you can lean on that you can trust and this is a lesson to everyone who has a friend including myself that when somebody trusts you enough to tell you something very private please make sure you do your best to keep it private make sure you do your best to keep it a secret i know the moment you share a secret it's hard to keep it but chat with um predicament or situation has proven to us that there are still some people out there that knows how to seal their lips like when this these are the kind of people that they say i will take it to my grave yeah these are the kind of people so we should strive to have that kind of people in our lives and we should also strive to be that kind of people okay that kind of friends that our friends can rely on and when they tell us something they will not hear it in hear it circulating around okay that's another lesson and i'm ho hoping you too have learned something moving on the next thing is um it is time for us to shift our focus on pursuing the things of this world to celebrating life okay why do i say this this guy was sick he was going through a lot. I was able to read about this colon cancer. This guy was going through all this, but he was able to live his life to the fullest. Okay. He, he used his time on earth judiciously. Yeah. He made good use of his time. The time that was left for him. He made good use of it. He left a lasting impression and he made an impact to the world to even little kids that have been seeing him as their hero i mean a lot of people are, are going to miss him but you will look back and see what he did and you will say he lived his life to the fullest he celebrated life and celebrated everyone around him and um, he was just an inspiration he he will still continue to be an inspiration to so many people out there especially to the black community so i just want to say that in as much as we are pursuing money, we are pursuing other things that um, we like, our desires, we should try to live life to our best. And there's this saying that live your life today as if there is no tomorrow, okay? Live a just life. Live a life where when you move to the other side on the judgment, they go, you will be able to account for everything that you have done on this earth. All right. So that's it. Moving on. All right. The next thing I want to say is it is not everything that you go through that you let your whole world know listen it is not everything that you go through that you let your whole world know not the entire world your whole world your your world could be five people do not let if those five people know everything that is happening to you do not let everybody to know your business all right that's it he was going through this he did not tell the whole world he did not tell his fans for his fans to be sympathetic he did not tell his um, co-actors and the rest because a lot of them were surprised that he was going through this when they were acting together and they didn't know all right so 
no matter what you're going through there are certain things about your life especially when you are a celebrity especially when you put your life out there like a youtuber and everything it is not everything that you must put on your channel it's not everything that you must put on instagram you must put on social media all of them facebook snapchat and the rest it's not everything try to live a part of your life private all right uh that's just what i i have to say that's just my thought about it this is what he did and it worked for him if you are able to do that if you can't do that why not so it's not everything that you just have to tell people all right some people will even say it just to gain sympathy but he did not do that right. the last thing or the last point that i want us to talk about is be kind be kind to one another let love lead in your heart be kind to one another. It pays to be kind. You do not know what people are going out, going through out there. Someone might be smiling with you, but the person is dying inside. I mean, we have seen that in his case. I could be talking to you guys right now, making this video, but maybe I'm not feeling well. Maybe something is going on with me. Maybe I was just crying a, f a couple of minutes ago. I'm not saying that I was crying, though. I'm just saying a lot of things can be going on behind the scene, all right? So if you have an opportunity to make someone feel good, try your best to make that person feel good. Be kind to people because you do not know what they are going through. You might just do something to change that person's mind from committing suicide, all right? From doing from harming themselves or doing something stupid so let's try to be kind in our words if we are watching someone try to be kind even when you are criticizing the person like what people were doing oh you are looking pale you're looking ugly you're looking this imagine you going back to that video seeing your comment there and knowing fully whether this person was actually ill but did not tell us and he's eventually dead how do you feel giving bad comments all these bullies trolls and the rest and in everything that we do we should spread love all right so those were some of the lessons that i said i should share with you guys let me know your thoughts about these lessons do you resonate with some of these lessons that i have shared with you people um how did you receive the death of chadwick Bosman? are you his fan uh he's so continue to rest in peace and um my heart still goes to all his family members may god strengthen them protect them and comfort them during this period and for everyone that is grieving due to one reason or another may you find comfort in the lord and above all be very prayerful trust in god and remain in god now and forever all right so thank you again if you like this video hit the like button um subscribe if, if you haven't subscribed and until next time it is bye bye from rosie